Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. It's an incredible day here in Tuscany. I say that in every video, that it's an amazing day. <laughs> well, yesterday it was not. We went to Florence and it was a disgusting day. Mm -hmm. So we just ate food in Florence. So it wasn't so bad, but the weather has gotten lovely yet again. It's like late October and it's t-shirt and dress weather. Yeah. Is that crazy or it's, what? It's pretty wild. It's definitely, it's like in the seventies, it's a little breezy. Oh, I'm loving it. The perfect day to explore Tuscany, maybe drink some wine, eat some cheese. I don't know why yes. I'm doing a French accent. <laughs> But it is our final day in the region, so I have planned us an epic day driving all over the place. We're gonna fit in as many pretty sights, as much delicious food. This region is called the Val d'Orcia. It's this region south of Siena, and it's, I guess, what you would think of when you think of Tuscany. It has the beautiful rolling hills, vineyards, these amazing cypress trees lining the tops of the hills, so they look like they have these goofy little mohawks. Walled cities up on the, the mountainsides. Yeah. You oh. guys, the cities around here have been insane. You just turn a corner and see a, a city off on a There's hillside. Actually, one, There's one right, right over there. there. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, uh -oh. We, we got, got a, a car, car coming. Okay, <laughs> to be continued. Is he coming? No, he parked. I am especially excited for this first stop because we're about to have a picnic with a lot of local ingredients that we will show off in just a bit. Just grabbed our picnic basket. We came to, it's called Chagusi Silvano, I think. <laughs> and it is a cheese farm where they also have a shop on site. You can build your own picnic basket and they have a whole viewing area out back where you sit at these lovely picnic tables and enjoy this epic view. I haven't been this excited about a lunch in a while. We have our picnic basket. We got a lot of goodies up in here. <laughs> we were able to kind of pick out all the different cheeses that we wanted and pick out some of the meat and mm -hmm. picked out a bottle the of wine. This little bottle of wine because well. we are going to be driving a bit today. So yeah. gotta keep it real. <laughs> when I heard that this place did picnics, I was ready to spend a lot of money because it's the farm where the cheese is produced and you get all these specialty items. This was only 24 euros though, for two people. Pretty good deal. I'm pretty blown away by it. We'll show you what we got in our little goodie basket. Some deliciously sliced meat. You had multiple options. We just went with one of them. We got three different types of cheese. The first one is right their down. classic one. They're known for pecorino. It's been aged, did she say 10 months? Yeah, something like that. Oh my word. It smells 10 months old. <laughs> this one is the Pecorino Rosso, which I think has some kind of tomato or tomato sauce in it. Something like that. So that'll That's be why interesting. it's red on the outside. And then we did some Pecorino Pepperoncini. Pepperoncino. Yeah, so it should be a little spicy. Hopefully yes, it's got so some it pepper flecks in there. in there. And then we got a couple of the cutest little jars of jam. This is a uh, Pepperoncini Rosso, so red pepper. And then which one, what was I this one? this one was fig. Fig. And we also got, of course, a bunch of sliced bread to put everything on. Oh, and they gave us a little placemat yeah. too. Do we need to use this? Probably. So cute, probably. I mean, why not? <laughs> right. yeah. All right, the time has come to taste the cheese. I'm starting with the really old one. We're not big fans of eating the rind, so. Yeah, I don't know if you're supposed to. It seems, I mean, 10 months old? Seems like it could hurt you, maybe. some hair too. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. It's so creamy and it's really crumbly in there, but it's just, oh, it tastes so good. 10 months was good to this guy. <laughs> I'm super excited to try this little pepper jam over here. Just gonna pop a little bit of that on the bread here. We have the cheese with the pepper flecks in it. So I'm gonna get a little piece of that. Mm. Mm -hmm. This jam is my jam. <laughs> got a subtle sweetness and plus there's spiciness from the, the flecks of pepper that are in the cheese as well but on this bread together it is magnificent this little kitty keeps coming around like it wants us to play with him let's just pet him a little bit and then he runs off i think he's a little scared of the camera hey buddy <laughs> We came down to visit the sheep whose cheese we just ate and we accidentally scared them all away. Yeah, but they're super adorable and they all have little cowbells on, they or I guess sheep they, bells. They have little bells. <laughs> but we're gonna hit the road and head actually to the city up on the hill over here because they are known whoop, 
for <laughs> some very delicious wine. All right, let's go. We've made it to Monte Pulciano. It's a city on a hill, but we didn't really realize we'd have to walk up the hill <laughs> to get up to it. They have some free parking, but it's down lower because it's an old historical center. So I don't think cars are actually allowed up in there. So you might have to do a little trekking. Yeah. I gotta say though, I've been surprised by the amount of free parking in all these cities. You can find it, I think almost every city, except for Florence, we couldn't find it there. Yeah. But everywhere else, it's been fantastic. of a city when looking at it is amazing, but looking out from it is maybe more amazing. Look at this view, y'all. It is pretty insane. And the cheese shop that we were at is way over there. <laughs> Am I pointing at it? Probably not. <laughs> we are descending down into the depths, which is really far down. We've been going forever. Oh, there's light. So I guess we're just going along the city wall maybe, but the wine cave should be down here. I see barrels, so I think we're on the right track. We stumbled onto a gem here, you guys, because this cave is magnificent. There are gigantic barrels like this all over the place. We're the only ones in this cave and the cave is huge. We have the yeah. whole thing to ourselves. So I it's think awesome. to get down to the wine tasting, you walk through where they're aging everything, I guess the cellar, and it's, I mean, just blowing us away. It's so big. Yeah. And it smells so cave-like. <laughs> you really don't smell a ton of wine, but it smells really musty. It's funny because from the street, you wouldn't guess that this huge chamber was down here. I think I found the medieval torture room. Oh, jeez. Either that or the poop chute. I don't oh, know. No. <laughs> There's no telling. Actually, I think they just usually have wine barrels right here. <laughs> they do have a torture museum here, though. Oh, so yeah, they do. We walked by that. This place is really cavernous though. There's all these little corridors that you can go on through and you're just kind of free to roam. There's no one here even supervising this. This, this is, is definitely awesome. our sort of winery. Yeah. At the this end, you come into the tasting room and you actually get a free tasting. You get to walk through an amazing cave, then you walk up to a free wine tasting. It's about as good it, it as it gets. Beat it. Yep. We're doing Tuscany right. Yes. <laughs> We're now trying the wine that is actually out in the barrels out there. It's aged for 24 months, right? One year in one sort of barrel, one year in another to give it a beautiful texture and taste and to subdue the tannins, something like that. Very complicated and I'm just You're gonna gulp it down now. Ooh, that is a really light red wine. I like that a lot. It's got a lot of flavor, but it's not like really heavy. She's really been trying to get better at tasting wine. Every time we do a wine tasting, she's really asking them all these questions, trying to understand the different ways to describe the taste. But uh, I really haven't gotten any better at it. I don't know if you have. Oh, I have 100% have not gotten better. But every wine I know is very different, but I, I don't know the descriptor words or you know, I could say maybe it's a little smoky. That's about the extent of it. But we need to go to a proper wine tasting class if you want to really know, probably. I mean, yeah, I think it would take us years and years and years to get anywhere with wine. Well, that was amazing. We ended up getting a bottle of wine, but the sun is quickly setting and there is a drive that I want to do before the sun goes down. So let's get to it. a lot longer to get here than I thought and we missed the sunset. Oh, I was really yeah. hoping for an epic sunset over the Tuscan hills but I guess twilight over the yeah. Tuscan hills is still pretty magnificent. It is actually really cool because <laughs> you can see all these layers of hills off into this oh. pink yonder. Yeah and you can see all the beautiful little houses and villas out there. We'll make sure to pin this place down below so that you can come and visit, hopefully when there's still sun. I hear that early in the morning at sunrise and then at sunset, this area is the most magical, yeah. but, but I'm even sure. at twilight, it is still yeah. cool in this its is, own way. And there's like a mist rolling through the hills. Well, this has been an absolutely magical day. I hope you enjoyed coming around with us. We actually have one more site that we want to see. And I think we're going to do that tomorrow as we're driving up to Venice. So we'll leave you here for tonight. Do you want me to do a hand? Yeah, sure. Okay.
this is the final place we wanted to bring you guys to. It is the castle in the town of Poppy. I think it's just called Poppy Castle. Well, the more technical name is Castello dei Conti Guidi. Something yeah. like Some, that. Something like that. We're the still working on our Italian guys. Castle of Count Guidi, I <laughs> yes. guess. This castle, at least the site that it's on, is very, very old. The first written account of a castle here is from 1169. Yes, it is mighty old. And when you walk in, the first thing you see is this staircase behind us, which is actually from the 1470s. Yeah. So a lot of people have been up and down these stairs. Yeah. We came at 10 a.m. on a Friday. They actually opened right at 10 a.m. We are the only people in this entire castle right and now. We, As you can see, we have it all to ourselves. We've been here for about half an hour and yeah. there, we haven't seen a single other person. Also pro tip, there's actually a parking lot right in front of the castle. Right, so right. drive your car right up to it. We parked at the bottom of the hill and walked all the way yes. up again. Don't do that. For now, I think we're going to walk around the castle, take you guys around. Mm -hmm. We are absolutely in love with the castle already. This is our kind of castle. It's small, it's quaint, it's ancient. We have it all to ourselves. Yes. All right, let's do it. The staircase just winds all throughout the castle. It's really cool just kind of walking around and exploring it all, but we found this staircase, which actually goes up to the tower. The bell started ringing up there too, I think. Can I you? Yeah. They actually warn you on this paper that the bell rings every 30 minutes, so it doesn't startle you, but I think it would be pretty startling up there. All right, let's go. What really gets tight in here? Not for the claustrophobic. All right, we made it. We made it, I'm so glad those bells went off right before we were up here. That would be so loud. Well, that is gonna do it for this video. Do hope you guys enjoyed exploring Tuscany with us today in the last couple days. Yeah, we had such a blast and we went to just a few things that we chose, but there are so many more cheese shops, so many more wineries, so many more amazing walled cities, so yeah. many more castles. I mean, you could spend, I think, weeks in the area and yeah. not see it all. Hey, if you can spare a month, spend a month in Tuscany, if that's possible. We highly recommend it. We actually have uh, kind of a long drive over to Venice, uh, so we got to run, but we are going to spend a few days there. That's where we're going to pick up in our next video. Yes, I think we have officially decided we'll be off to Venice, then down to Rome, then to Matera. So we're very excited for all of our upcoming travels, but it is a four hour drive from here. So we yeah. got to get goodbye adventures. We'll see you on the road.